guys welcome to my uh, latest video I'm excited to do this video this is a story time type video I just want to share with you guys my two riding experiences horseback riding experiences that have led me to why I don't really like horses if you've been following our channel and you know our family you know that both of our daughters um, both love horses and ride horses but the kids but that is not the case for me and I'm gonna explain it right now. I'm just gonna get right into the first story. The very first time I rode horses, I was eight years old. My sister's friend's parents came over to our house and said, hey, we wanna take her horseback riding on our farm. And my parents said, wow, that would be great. And just like the bratty younger sister that I was at the time, I said, oh, I want to go too. I mean, horseback riding, who would not love horseback riding? And so I whined and complained just long enough for my parents and for the parents of my sister's friend to say, yeah, sure, she can come along. So I grabbed my stuff and away we went to my sister's friend's farm. After we got there, we waited for a really short time for my sister's friend's dad to tack up. He had a couple of other friends there with him, a couple of other parents, and they tacked up the horses. And before you knew it, we were gone on a ride. So at this particular farm, way back when I was eight, um, we rode bareback. It was bareback riding and I didn't know anything about saddles. I didn't know anything about horseback riding, but all I knew is that it sounded like a lot of fun. So I got on behind one of the fathers. My sister got on behind one of the fathers and then her friend got on behind her dad. So we just started going. We just started walking and it was nice. And we were walking through the woods and I was really enjoying myself. We were chatting and laughing and it was a really positive experience. And at this point I was thinking, wow, this is amazing. I love horses. So we kept on going for a little while and then eventually we came to a, a a, a lake or a river I think it was a lake and it was pretty fast moving and the waves were going and I was thinking wow what a beautiful lake and then one of the dads said hey let's go swimming so at this point I started to think like I don't really know how to swim that well I'm not a strong swimmer I don't really know these parents I didn't really feel comfortable I didn't have my bathing suit on but I mean what was I gonna say I was eight years old so um what I didn't understand was that he meant let's go swimming on the horses. So before I could even say anything about not having my bathing suit, the horses started to walk into the water. So as they were walking in, I was thinking, well, this is kind of neat. We're like swimming in the, in the water with the horses. The horses are having such a nice time and they were walking and then they kept walking and kept walking. And I really started to get nervous when the water level got up to the bottom of my foot. And then I started thinking, we're not swimming. We are walking into the water on top of horses. The horses were huge compared to me. And I was thinking, I'm afraid. I, I really felt afraid. But I mean, as long as the horses were just, you know, walking in the water and I could deal with this. <coughs> but then, before you knew it, the horses were, were up to their neck in the water. We, I was on the back of a horse. The horse was in the water up to its neck and it was swimming. The horse was swimming very fast like this. I could feel the feet of the horse going under the water. And I was, all I could do was hold on to the man in front of me. And all of a sudden, as I was holding onto the man in front of me, his body started to rise up out of the water. He started to float off the back of the horse. He was holding onto the horse's neck the way I was holding onto his back. So there I was suddenly on the back of a horse floating up off the horse. I could not swim very well. And not only that, but when I looked over, I was so afraid I was about to slide off the horse because it felt like I was about to slide off the horse. I looked over and right beside me was another horse. So if I fell off that horse, I was gonna get trampled. Honestly, I was petrified. I think it was about this this time in the story where I started screaming because I was terrified. I looked over at my sister and she was laughing and having the best time ever. And I just kept screaming and screaming and screaming because I was terrified because I wasn't on the horse anymore. I was floating above the horse. I was holding onto a man that was floating above the horse and I could feel the power of the horse swimming underneath me. I don't know if it was the amount of screaming that I was doing or what it was, but finally we came out of the water. If I was like a cat and had nine lives, it was at this point that I realized that I just, just used up one of those lives because I was so super grateful to be alive. I could tell that all the other people were annoyed with me because I was screaming and everybody else seemed to have a good time, but that was not fun for me. 
Anyway, I decided to rate that. Okay, you know what? It's not that bad. You lived. If I had known what to expect, I might have been a little bit more prepared. Or I might have said, hey, can I wait on the beach while you guys swim? But anyway, that was over. I was okay. Everybody lived. And I decided I was going to keep quiet and lay low until we got back to the truck and before we could go home. Because I didn't want to drive everybody crazy. So uh, finally we decided, or finally we started back to the farm and we started going, but we did not go the way that we came. We went a different way. Apparently it was the shortcut. So um, we traveled for a little while. I was sticking to my decision to be quiet and just lay low until we got to the hill. And when I say hill, I don't mean like a nice little hill. I mean like a steep mountain like this. And the horse in front of us started to go up the, up the hill and I had my sister on the back. My sister was bareback holding onto a man and she was on a hill and the horse was like this and she was going up this mountain. Her legs were flying out behind her. She was holding on to the guy in front of her and the guy in front of her was like screaming at the horse and saying whatever it is you do to get them to go. And it seemed like to me that the guy was really stressed out thinking that they were gonna fall back. I mean, it was like he was walking it was terrible. I thought the horse was going to fall back on top of us and trample us. And I just knew at that moment that I was not going to be able to keep my promise to myself to be quiet. I started screaming even before we went up the hill. The man that was riding with me, honestly, I could tell that he was so frustrated with me because his he didn't scream at me, he didn't be mean to me, but his lip were like this. I could tell he was biting his tongue and I was just screaming and then there I was trying to get up this hill on the back of a horse. I was holding onto the man in front of me again like this, but for dear life, my legs were, were swinging out behind me and we charged up this hill. By the time we got to the top of the hill, I was like, that's it, never again. I am never, ever, ever gonna ride a horse again, never. It was horrible. I did get home, obviously. I survived the whole experience, but it was not fun for me. And, it, and honestly, at eight years old, I knew I would never ride a horse again. Fast forward two daughters and a lot of years later, and Sam decided when spring break, when Gabby was four, that it would be an awesome idea if we went horseback riding. The girls both loved horses. Gabby was already taking lessons. And I said, you know, so many years ago I had that bad experience. Experience. Obviously those people were stupid. I mean, it's not always like that. So yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's go on a family horseback ride. So we get to the farm and this is a new farm, a different city, and I'm an adult and I'm super excited because yeah, riding horses, I mean, it can't really be that bad, right? So um, Sophia was two at the time and she was even gonna get to ride. Um, Gabby was a pro, so they loaded us all up on the horses. What they did was they put saddles on all the horses. Saddles, yes. And um, they put all of us on the saddles. They did Gabby first and then Sophia and then Sam and then me. I don't know why I got to go last, but I was last. So almost instantly, as soon as she hooked me up onto the saddle, I knew there was something drastically wrong. And the reason I knew something was drastically wrong was because parts of me that I didn't even know I had were starting to hurt. I was sitting on the saddle, so say the saddle's like this, I was leaning on the saddle like this. I was leaning on parts of my body that should not be used. And I said, oh, oh wait, to the girl, it was a young girl riding, it, riding the, the horseback riding. I said, whoa, 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 wait, we can't go yet because my butt is hurting. And she said, oh, it's fine. That's, that's, that happens to everybody. And I'm like, okay, I, I can't believe that because it's already hurting instantly. We haven't even ridden anywhere. But I decided, you know, I just need to chill and I just need to like go with the flow and, and everybody else is doing it and nobody else is complaining. <coughs> So away we go on our ride. Abby is in the front leading us and Sophie is being led by another girl and then there's Sam and then there's me at the back. It was springtime, early, early springtime. The horses all had all this fur on them that I didn't realize would make them itchy. They were all itchy, so, so itchy. Um, the girl in charge told me a few simple directions. If you wanna go this way, you go this way. If you wanna go this way, you pull this way. And I was like, I can handle that. So we started walking. We walked down the road and it was so nice other than that my body was aching so bad I wanted to just get off. But I held it in until we got to this wooded area that we were supposed to be walking through. So as we turned on to the wooded area, to the wooded path, my horse 
sees a tree. Now the tree is maybe up to the up to my head and I'm sitting on the horse. So it's not that big, but it's not that small. And it decides, hey, that would be a really great sc scratching post. I think I'll walk over it. So my horse walks over top of the tree. So I'm on the horse and I'm in the middle of the tree and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs because I'm in the middle of a tree on top of a horse. And the girl's like, just say, just pull your reins this way and it will go out. So I pull my reins this way. The horse doesn't get out. The whole entire time, the horse did what it wanted, walked where it wanted, and it was not fun for me because I was going weaving in and out of every single tree and bush that that horse could scratch itself on. Anyway, I was screaming just like I was when I was eight, and it was not fun. So I was laughing. The kids were having a great time. I did not have a great time. So then I realized, you know, this, this is not for me. This, this, this is just is not for me. But it really wasn't that bad of an experience. I mean, definitely a lot better than when I was eight. That is, until the end of the ride. So uh, finally, after our ride, it was about 30 minutes, 45 minutes maybe, and we finally get back to the barn and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be able to walk again for six weeks. That's how much pain I was in at this point. But I was trying to keep calm because I already was screaming so much and the young girl in charge, you could tell she was getting frustrated that I couldn't control my horse. The stupid horse wouldn't let me control it. And I was just annoying her. So we get back and I have to wait. Everybody gets off before me. So first Gabby just gets off the horse and then Sophie gets lifted off the horse and then Sam jumps off the horse and I'm thinking, how am I getting off this horse? So the young girl said to me, lean forward and swing your legs around and jump down. I'm like, okay, that's not too bad. So I lean forward, swing my legs around and jump down, but my feet don't hit the floor. What ended up happening was that the front of my bra strap got hooked around the knob on the Western saddle, and now I'm hanging from the horse by my bra. My shirt comes up, my bra comes up, so really it's my bra up at my neck, hanging onto the saddle of the horse, my boobs fall down, all these people are around, and I'm hanging, and my shirt and my bra are up, and I'm hanging, and my boobs are hanging down, and I'm just hanging from the horse, and I'm thinking, I'm just gonna laugh. I just started laughing. I was laughing hysterically. I did not know what to do. I'm like, could somebody help me? My boobs are hanging down. Oddly, I wasn't even embarrassed because I just was so shocked that this happened to me. I just was laughing. So then there's Sam behind me. He's laughing and he's taking pictures. Of course, he's got his phone out and he's taking pictures of me hanging by my neck from the horse. And the girl is only a young teenager she's kind of embarrassed but kind of laughing and she doesn't know what to do because she's not what is she gonna do so uh, finally somebody gets a stool comes over puts it under my feet and i'm able to stand on the stool unhook my bra fix everything and i'm done riding and so i feel like i gave horseback riding a really good shot and gabby would love for me to go riding again with them but yeah those are my two experiences horseback riding the only times i've ever been on a horse and I can honestly say none of them were super enjoyable for me. I just think that it was not ever planned for me to be into horses and I love animals, all animals, but horses and I, we just do not get along. that's it that's it that's my whole history on a horse and I just wanted to share it with you guys and um, now you guys can see why I don't take a huge interest in horseback riding even though my girls do and why sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant and nervous when I'm at the barn because horses and I have a rocky history thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.